Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths. We've got a new trailer. There was actually two trailers released, but one was like a shorter version of another, so, you know, I just combined it. There's only one shot that's different in one of the trailers. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year or next year as we try and reach 100,000 subscribers, we're only a few hundred subs off, so please be sure to share the videos around as per usual. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about Crisis. We are expecting a trailer sometime in the next week or so, but this was much sooner than I expected. There was like a sort of leaked version, although everyone was saying it was not leaked. Basically, someone recorded it from the TV, but now TV promos was able to get it, and it's in pretty good quality, so... Here it is, we're going to be breaking it down and talking about everything in this. This is for part 4, and maybe there is some part 5 footage in this, I'm not sure, but it's, you know, for the final two episodes. Okay, so the first shot of the trailer is of some of our Paragons. We got White Canary, we got Batwoman, we got Martian Manhunter, and we got Supergirl. They're all lined up in that place that we keep on seeing in these promos and, you know, teasers for the new part of the crossover. And so... I can't really crack down still where it is, but it's some sort of like warehouse type thing. And so Supergirl's talking and she's talking to someone in front of her. I think this actually is Lex because there is a shot in just a minute and I'll show it right here. So Lex is in front of them and they're in the same sort of formation. There is some stuff like blowing up and going off in the background, very sort of white light. So it's, you know, some sort of sparks going off i don't know what he's done here but yeah lex is there and so they are confronting him and obviously maybe it's like why did you change to become a paragon instead of you know superman and this continues on to this next shot where we get this we see supergirl walking into this place seemingly going up to confront lex about what he's done to superman because she's got the cape of a dead superman or a superman that is gone and this is obviously a reference to Supergirl and Superman in Crisis in the comics because there's the famous cover where Supergirl is dead and Superman is holding her corpse just like this. And we had a shot like that back in season two with Superman holding Supergirl and now it's the opposite. It's Supergirl holding Superman's cape in that same sort of way as she goes to presumably confront Lex Luthor. So I really like this and I really appreciate this shot. And so, yeah, let's move on to the next one. We see Barry. He goes flying across. I think maybe they could actually be attacking Lex. I don't know. Because maybe they feel like Lex has done this in order to only benefit himself rather than to actually help save the universe. Or it could be something completely different. Maybe they are fighting the Anti-Monitor or some sort of foe. But Barry's being flung back in that same place because it sort of looks very similar. And so we move on to the next shot. And the next shot is of the Anti-Monitor, and he is facing off against what looks like it could be Green Arrow or, you know, the Spectre, because Oliver is becoming the Spectre. And so the reason why I think this is, because we're going back to the dawn of time, there's going to be this massive fight with the Paragons and him. We know that Oliver slash the Spectre, who he's probably turned into, is actually still alive. And who else wears green? Obviously there is Mariah that wears green, but he died at the end of last episode and this is presumably before everyone or whoever is brought back is brought back. So it seems like this is actually Oliver facing off against the Anti-Monitor and how is he going to do anything against him? I think it's because the Spectre has made him into the Spectre. Well, that's our theory going on right now. I think he's actually going to be able to sort of put up a fight rather than him just himself. Okay, so we move on to the next shot, and we got Oliver, and it's sort of green everywhere, it's all lit in a very nice way, and he's fighting someone, and he's rapidly punching, the sort of sound effect is kind of funny because he punches so fast, and so I don't know where he is, but it looks like it's pretty run down in here, obviously he's smashed up the place a little bit, and we cut to the next shot, definitely confirming it's him, I don't know who it is, I mean, the first impression I had, it kind of looks like Adrian Chase, which is a bit weird, because I don't think Adrian Chase is going to show up or, you know, like a different version, like the Earth 2 version of himself. So I don't really know as of right now who he's actually beating up. But presumably it could be someone in 
the present. Like, I don't know why he would be here if he's a spectre beating someone up. I don't know. Maybe he has some information or something. But we'll have to wait and see. So we get this really close up shot. And it looks like this is of Oliver like waking up. And maybe becoming the spectre. It does look like it's Oliver. Looks like he's got his hood on. I mean, I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's Steven's eye. Alright, so let's move on to the next shot. We've got the Paragons. It zooms in, well it doesn't zoom in, it pans in really fast, they sped it up, and so they're facing off against the Anti-Monitor at the dawn of time, so that's the scene we keep on getting teased with. Then we get this scene in Star Labs with Caitlyn and Heatwave, so I think they're together for a little bit of this episode, along with Black Lightning, as you can see in this next shot. So they've obviously survived, you know, they died last episode, so I'm presuming this chunk of the trailer is actually from part 5 when they've returned, when the Paragons have succeeded in bringing back, you know, at least some Earths. Then we go to the Dawn of Time again, and I find it kind of weird that the colour grading keeps on changing because it's very, very green in the other stuff, and in this one it's got no grade, or it's like very little, so I don't know, it's a bit weird. Maybe it could be a different place, but... I mean, it has all the rubble and everything like that. So they all run in, Barry's speeding them in. Then we cut to this next shot. This is probably my favorite shot in the whole trailer. We get Supergirl as she goes to confront the Anti-Monitor and look who's behind her. This is Oliver, but he's not really looking like normal Oliver. He's looking more like the Spectre. He's got this massive, massive hood on. So it does seem like Oliver is actually going to become the Spectre and this is super exciting, I can't wait for this moment. Then we move on to the next shot, and the next shot again is in the same place at the dawn of time. See the anti-monitor just behind the text saying Tuesday, January 14th, because that's when it's airing. You've got the Paragons facing off, you've got Barry, I believe that is Jean on the right, and then you've got White Canary, Batwoman, Ryan Troy with a beard, and Lex Luthor, and obviously excluding Supergirl, who's probably on the left somewhere. Then we move on to Barry in this next shot, and he says this is the fight of our lives as they're right in the explosion. So obviously, it's right in the moment, they're probably all surrounding, like, they're all fighting and everything, the explosion is going off in the background, and Barry's like, come on, we need motivation, we gotta win this fight. So, yeah, it looks really cool. Alright, so let's move on to the next shot. We got Lex, he's using some sort of device. It's very sort of white and taking up the whole screen, so I can't really tell what it is because it's extremely bright. And we go on to the next shot. We've got the return of the monitor, and the monitor is back alive, so I'm presuming this is in part five. Like I said, with some of the other shots with some of the returning characters, I would say, yeah, probably part five if you were to guess. But in the background, and this is really weird, and this is a thing in the trailer that happens later which we'll talk about, but Supergirl is going flying, but she's going flying backwards, like she's being reversed. And that's weird, because if she was, you know, flying up, she's getting flung in the air, she wouldn't go flying up like this, this is silly. So is she actually going in reverse? Is this all in reverse? And so this leads me on to this next shot, which is of the Earth, and the Earth's been destroyed by the antimatter wave, but in the trailer, it's reversed, and it goes from exploding to not exploding. So, are they reversing time? Are they doing sort of the thing that they did last crossover in Elseworlds? And I think that's pretty likely that it's going to be involving time travel in some way. You know, they're in the place where time and space, you know, it doesn't matter because they're in that sort of zone. And obviously you got the Book of Destiny, so rewriting Destiny, or it could be time travel. They are ways that they can save everyone. Okay, so let's move on to the next shot. We go back to the dawn of time. We've got the Anti-Monitor fighting against what looks like probably still being the Spectre, obviously Oliver Queen. And it seems like he's got some sort of like fire or like lava like attacking him, like he's a lava vendor. So I'm very curious to see what's going on there. Then we got back at Star Labs with some of the returning characters, Black Lightning and Heat Wave fighting against this sort of like ghost thing. Maybe it's one of the Shadow Demons. I'm not too sure as of that right now. But we go back to the Dawn of Time, some sort of explosion or beam of light is in front of our Paragons as they react to that. And this is definitely in part 5 of the crossover. This is the scene that was leaked a while ago that we saw all of our heroes running towards and attacking the Anti-Monitor. And this is definitely in part 5 because you can see Nia now has returned as Dreamer 
and this is in one of the final battles, if not the final battle. And we've got our Paragons here as well as Nia, and it's looking pretty cool. Then we get this final shot, and this is from the other trailer of Sarah next to Supergirl, and she's sort of doing her superhero speech against the Anti-Monitor. So that is about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe if you're new, and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.